All right. So now we're going to get into the crux of uh, data structures. We've already kind of gotten into the main parts of data structures, but this is kind of what we're going to spend the rest of the semester working on. Um, and it's something called abstract data types. Okay. So abstract data types are different ways we can organize data. Okay. Um, they're based on functions we can do on the data um, and they're language agnostic. Okay, so we're going to implement these in Java, but implementations in other languages are uh, doable and often straightforward. And so there's nothing Java specific about abstract data types. That's important. Um, in fact, abstract data types can be implemented any way you want, um, as long as they fit certain specifications. If that all seems weird right now, don't worry about it. Let's just talk about a few abstract data types that you might see around your room right now. Okay, so you might have a bag. Okay, so here's a grocery bag or something that they make you buy now if you go to the grocery store. Uh, this is, I don't, that is the worst bag I've ever drawn in my entire life. Wow. Oh my God, that was like a magnet. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna do the old, the old bag from the Looney Tunes cartoons, okay? So we can have a bag and we're gonna just do with numbers right now and then we will uh, maybe this lecture or next lecture talk about how you modify these things for generics. It's not super important. What I really want you to get the importance of is the coding, not like the specifics of generics, which is cool, but like not the aim of this. Um, okay, so if I insert numbers into this bag, it's kind of unordered uh, because I'm just putting stuff in a bag and there's no real order to a bag. I mean, you can kind of try to put the eggs at the top of a bag or something, but the order really doesn't, doesn't matter. So we can just keep on putting stuff in. We can repeat values if we want. And that's basically what a bag can do. You can put stuff in and you can take random values out or you could say, you know, how many fours are in this bag? Any fours are in this bag. That's analogous to me being like, how many pens do I have in this bag? Or uh, the most stressful thing is, how many markers do I have in this bag? Or do I have how many of those plugs that allow me to plug into the uh, projector do I have in the bag? Because if you, I don't have one of those plugs, uh, they don't give you one at school. They scream at you. So uh, there you go. Welcome to Old Westbury. Um, so that's just the IT. The, the rest of the people, so, so, don't listen to me. Anyways, how many fours are in this bag, right? We could ask that question. We could also say, you know, empty the bag. The bag, take one value out of the, take one item, okay, out of the bag. Something like this, okay? Um, we could do, we could count the number of items in the bag, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Notice that uh, this can be implemented multiple ways and we haven't said anything about the implementation of this, right? Uh, so one way we could implement this, okay, is we could implement it with an array, all right? And the array implementation would look like, well, there's a four in this bag, and there's a five in this bag, and there's a six in this bag, and then there's a four in this bag. And maybe we implement it as a partially filled array, something we've done before, right? So there's a count, right? And the count's gonna tell you where the next thing's gonna be inserted to. Um, and then there's a capacity, and if we get the capacity, we copy this thing over. Um, and that's a perfectly good way to uh, implement a bag, okay? You know another way to implement a bag, and yes, I know you're screaming at the at the video monitor right now saying what the other way is. Well, right, we could do it as a linked list. And all a bag is, is an unordered list. That's another way to think of it. We call it a bag. I call it a bag because it, it's fun to think of these things as having like a real world uh, analogs to them and the bag's a fun one, but 
you can call, you could just say it's an unordered list, all right? So a linked list, well, we could do the same thing, right? We could have a head pointing to data of four, referencing another node with a data of five, it's next referencing another node with a data of six, it's next referencing another node with a data of four, it's next referencing, well, we know what the end of the linked list reference is not, okay? Look, two things, right, that have both represented this bag and both completely valid, okay? Um, and now we have all these things where we can, you know, empty the bag. Well, that means two different things here. Here it means maybe we put the count at zero, right? And we just start overwriting the old bag values as we insert into it, right? Um, here, if we're going to empty the bag, well, we could just set head equal to null, right? And that'll, that'll end that bag's uh, values, right? If we want to take a value out of this, okay, there's a special way we can do it. Um, and we'll talk about that. If we want to take a value out of this, a random value out of this, we have to think about it, right? We have to, if I wanted to take six out of here, all right, I'm going to locate six, but I'm going to have a previous pointer to five and jump that over to four, right? So we talked about previous pointers last time. Notice there is no implementation details of the bag. That's why it's abstract, right? We don't have the implementation details of the bag. And if someone's using our bag class, they don't need to know the implementations to use it. We'll program it in one of these ways, and then they'll just say, I want to insert the number of four into the bag, okay? The number four into the bag. And we'll insert it into the bag, and then if they print out the bag, they'll see the number four in there but they won't know whether we're doing it with an array or a linked list and they don't need to know they just need to know these high level functions so that's the power of abstract data types um and we'll look at the bag then we'll look at the stack and the queue things you've probably heard of before uh, but now you'll see them formally see you in the next video